Hey humans, welcome back. Um, I decided that today's going to be a pretty chillaxed day, so I thought maybe it would be a fun day to vlog, or at least try to vlog. Um, I am so tired. This has been the roughest week. Um, at, here at school it is called uh, Dead Week. I don't know if that's a universal college term or if that's just something that we've adopted. But Dead Week is, is the week before finals week. And we're supposed to not have anything in classes and it's just supposed to be a really nice week to do a lot of studying. Um, but all of my teachers and many other teachers have decided to start pushing their finals back to this week instead of during finals week and while that's kind of nice because you can get out of here earlier on finals week it's exhausting um, so I've had probably 19 hours of sleep in the last three days when normally I would have almost 25 or 26 hours of sleep I am so tired that my focus on anything is very very small and um, yeah, we're gonna see what this day brings. I think um, we're going. I, I think we're gonna take a trip to Walmart. Other than that, we're just gonna kind of wing it. Um, and so I will see you around. I've never wanted to skip class so bad before until right now. However, we have a presentation, a group presentation. Then pretty much all of my final E stuff is over. I have one final during finals week. It's on Tuesday, so I even get to get out of here early. Um, so this group presentation is the last thing. So I have to go to class, and then I can come back and take a nap. So that's kind of beautiful, I would say. It is a super beautiful morning this morning. That was a little redundant. Um, and I started the camera to tell you something important and now I don't remember what it was. So that's cool. Seriously, I'm trying to remember and it's not coming to me. Damn it. Never mind. One of the most beautiful things is that after this class is over, I don't have to go practice piano because piano is over for the year. So that is really relieving and really, really exciting. My classes are officially over. And I was worrying about this presentation that we had today because we hadn't really practiced, we hadn't really prepared, and it was a group presentation. <clears throat> and so I was really kind of panicking about it. Turns out, thanks to public speaking, it wasn't even that bad. Um, I wasn't even too nervous, uh, public speaking, since Ken is probably going to watch this, um, was one of the most beneficial classes I feel like I'm ever going to take. Um, but, doesn't stop my feel pauses when I'm filming. I feel pause a lot when I'm filming. Anyway, so my classes are finally done, and I'm, I have one final next week, Tuesday 8 a.m., you, but after that my sophomore year, year of college is over and that blows my mind because I swear I just moved into my room and I have to move out next week. It, whoa, in four days actually. Five days. Oh my god, that's so sad. Um, but right now my room is a complete disaster and I really need to work to clean it up today. However, I want to go to Walmart and buy a bigger memory card for this camera or maybe just another memory card because I feel like I fill this one up and then sometimes I forget to take clips off of it. So before I can start filming, I have to empty this and it's kind of confusing and annoying. So I need another card, I think, and maybe even a bigger one. And then I want to buy some more paints because look at this beautiful painting that I did last night, yesterday afternoon. It's got some bright, funky colors, and I don't know, I've just been feeling really painty lately. And so I went and I bought a lot of paint. Actually, it's really not that much. I'll just show you because it's really exciting to me. The 
painting has just seemed really fun lately. So I went and got several choices of paints and um, I picked a lot of bright colors like this green was the first one that I picked out. It's really bright um, and this pink blows my mind. It doesn't even look that bright to me but it is like sunglasses bright. Um, and then I bought, well, while these bright colors are great, I was going to say that they're not very practical. So I was thinking of painting my mom something, but she doesn't like bright colors as much as me. So I want to go get, I didn't even buy a white paint. That makes zero sense. So I was thinking if I go to Walmart, get an SD card and a couple more colors of paint. Maybe a couple more canvases. Um... But I've only used one, and I still have four left, so I really don't need to buy canvas right now. But I want to paint like crazy, so I don't know what to do about that. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to go to Walmart now, because I don't actually know what to do with my afternoon. And... The only thing is we'll go to Walmart, but I can only spend money on six paints, because they're like 50 cents a piece, and one SD card. I cannot take time to look around at any other things because I will spend money and I need to stop spending money. So that's our only condition. We're going to Walmart if I only buy the things I'm going for. Deal? All right, let's go. I'm off to a really bad start. I'm already looking at things that are not on my list, but I really want a new pencil. I've been using the same pencil for like two years at this point. That's kind of impressive. So many colors. Which ones do I pick? This one seems nice. I don't know what the difference between these two are. But I need dark green. White, white, white. Brown, classic brown. Classic red. One more. One more, one more, one more. Got yellow. Got black. I honestly don't think I even need any more. So. Red, blue, brown, green, white. Now I'm looking for like a camera strap because I lost mine and I feel that I need one. I don't know where to look. I might have to ask somebody. Look at these super fun chunky rugs. Like this one is a crocheted braid. This is really, ooh, that's really soft. Feel it. I've always wanted hair chalk, so this is really tempting because it's cheaper than like the normal 10 bucks trying to restrain myself but I also want this because I need like something to get my hair out of my face when I'm washing my face when I decide not to take a shower um, I'm I'm trying to do my best to talk myself out of all this unnecessary shit there is so much bird shit on my car it's everywhere So, I ended up getting one more thing that wasn't on my list, but it kind of makes sense. I was going to make my mom something for Mother's Day, which is like in three days, two days. Um, I was going to make her something, but honestly, I don't think 
she would, I was going to paint her something, but I don't think that she would actually hang it up. Pardon my music. Uh, I don't think that she would actually hang it up. So, I just went and had to get her a card. Um, cards are stupid expensive, but um, my mom deserves the world. Uh, she's been going through um, a lot of crazy stuff lately that really she shouldn't have to. And so, um, I was going to paint her something, but just the way she is, I don't think that she would actually ever hang it up or like it that much. So she might like it but she I bought her something for Christmas and she's it's still sitting by her chair downstairs so that tells you how excited she is to hang things up not excited at all so I got her a Mother's Day card that I think suits her very well if I could just get all my siblings together at one time to sign it that would be really nice but um, I don't think that's actually gonna happen because Mother's Day is on Sunday and I don't think I'm going home before then so yeah we'll I don't think it's gonna happen. But I got a 32 Gigabyte SD card. And I am super excited to, oh, where'd it go? Super excited to use it. Um, that's gonna hold so much stuff compared to my eight gigabyte that I have now. I used to think eight gigabyte was so much, but when you start making a video, or when you start vlogging, those little tiny clips add up so fast um, that it, it takes up a lot of space. Um, the next thing I was going to say is they didn't have any wrist straps for cameras, which is what I was looking for. I asked somebody and she had been there before, so I, I think she really knows her stuff. And she said that they didn't carry um, wrist straps, but they carried like lanyards for cameras. And that's not exactly what I was hoping for. So I'll just have to get that online, I think. Um, my air conditioner doesn't work and it's hot. Made the last minute decision. We are coming to Dollar Tree to see what we can find. They have so much stuff and I'm gonna try not to spend an excessive amount of money, but Dollar Tree is the place to get a lot of money because you get like 20 things for $20. That's kind of awesome. And they have like good stuff. They have a bunch of glass things that I really want to buy, like glass jars and vases and things. Because those would be really fun to paint. Um, so we're just going to go in and look around because I have so much time this afternoon. So, here we go. See what I mean? Milk bottles are so cool. I don't know what I would do with it though. They have all kinds of these, and then there's a no whole other section of them. These are like bases and stuff, but they have a whole other section of them. God, I love the store. I have to talk myself out of this super cool stylus. I don't even use styluses, but that one's so cute that I want it. I'm really bad at aiming the camera at me, I think. Sorry about that. These little bowls are so cute, and they're glass. Oh my god, they're so cute. I don't think I need any sweet snacks, but I feel like I need these. It smells so freaking bomb out here, like French toast sticks, and uh, it makes me really hungry and want French toast sticks. However, I don't have access to French toast sticks, but you just got really close up into my hair, didn't you? Okay. So, in Dollar Tree, I didn't show much of it because that was a quick trip. Um, I showed you I got these. They also had um, mallow cups, which excites me because I really want my family to try these because they're kind of, you know, a, an old school um, treat. And if you've ever had these before, these are so, so good. They're like literally like biting into a candy apple it tastes like an apple it's like sour juicy like an apple but there's no apple i it's so confusing but it's so good so i got three of those and mint patties because i love mint patties and for a dollar i thought that was a good idea okay it's time to go back into the air condition um back at school 
I have one more class to go to today. Um, we're just going over our test that we took yesterday, so that's not even going to take very long. Um, but I still, I still have an hour, two hours, an hour and forty-five minutes until I have to be there. So um, I'm going to go back and get some lunch. Hopefully, if I can find the key to this freaking car. Okay, here we go. I want to point out that somehow my parking spot that I left from is still there. It's open and free. But I found a better one. It's one, two, three spots better than that one. Woot woot. Ta-da! We made it back. And it feels really good in my room. I think we should try one of these on camera. Um, I opened the package and it's like burned my eyes with like spiciness. So we're gonna see what it tastes like. I love the bitter ch bi cheddar bacon ones. So I'm excited to try this new flavor. Mmm. That's delicious. It's not really that spicy. I think after a few it would get really spicy. But it's really flavorful. It's got a lot of jalapeno flavor. And a whack of cheddar in there too. Those are delicious. They would go really good with a bologna sandwich. Too bad I don't have bologna. I don't normally eat lunch until 1 o'clock. And it's only 12.21. So I think uh, I need to take some time and pick up my room. Um, after all, I'm moving out in four days. That's really depressing. And I've just started littering my room with all kinds of junk. So I think it's really time to start consolidating, cleaning, and preparing for moving out. I was trying to water my freaking plant and the water landed here and spilled off onto the floor. Because I'm smart and decided to dump water on a leaf leading directly to the floor. But look how pretty that plant is. Okay, so I always scan my um, Walmart receipts into the savings catcher thing. And I just looked, I was like, impressive how short this receipt was. Because normally Walmart receipts are like five miles long. And I was looking and it says, it says, if this will focus, to see back of receipt for your chance to win $1,000. Okay, you do not mess with a college student. This receipt has nothing on the back. Can I still win $1,000? Because there's nothing telling me what to do on the back. Don't freaking tell me I can win money and then not actually give me the link to win money. That's rude. Well, it doesn't really look like I got a whole lot done, I feel like. But I did. I got a lot of stuff picked up. I put most of it in my desk drawer, so now I have to go through my dress desk drawer later. But that was inevitable. I was going to have to anyway. Um, now, it's time to go to lunch. It's 1 o'clock almost. I don't even really want lunch because I don't want to go to the cafeteria. But I only have one can of ravioli left. I'm saving that for after work tonight. I have to remember that I have to go to work tonight because I haven't worked a Friday night at all this year. So I'm kind of forgetting that I have to go to work, which is not good. Um. All right, all right, this is an excellent lunch. We have chicken strips and a biscuit, and I got some buffalo sauce, corn on the cob, my trusty two glasses of water. This is an ex excellent lunch for Friday afternoon. Let's dig in. Right before I came to lunch, I cleaned off my glasses because last night for dinner I had corn on the cob and it splurted all over my glasses and I forgot to clean it on. So I literally just cleaned my glasses right before I got here and I just spewed corn juice everywhere again. So that's super obnoxious because it's sticky and hard to get off. Oh wow. Uh, 
that was my last time hiking up four flights of stairs. This um, is Plum Hall and they're notorious for having the worst staircase on campus. And um, that was my last time so pretty excited about that because I did it almost for an entire semester and it doesn't get easier. It's official guys. That was my last French class. I have really mixed feelings about it, honestly. Like, I'm really excited that I don't have to go every single day now because going to French every day was really taxing on my brain. However, I can see that it needs to be a five hour credit course because you have to in order to actually ever learn anything of a foreign language, like you have to make sure to do it every single day. But um, not having to go every day is a huge relief to me. Like I feel like I'm a free lady. And um, but there's also I'm kind of sad about it because there are no more French courses offered here, and so I've taken everything that I I can, and that is kind of sad because I can't continue to further my knowledge in a class unless I like go to another go through another college or something like that but I don't really want to do that um, so I'm gonna have to come up with a way to make myself kind of still learn but I'm not gonna have that teacher there telling me when I write a sentence wrong or when I get a gender wrong or something like that so that's kind of sad we were also really lucky to have um, three or four native French kids come and help with the class two days a week and so oh well one day a week and so that was super awesome we learned a lot about culture and a lot about how French people do things and that was just really like eye-opening and it really makes me want to travel to France but I'm like so scared because I don't really know how to form sentences very well. I learned a whole lot of vocab through my year of French, but I am not good at forming sentences. And so I'm, I'm kind of sad because I won't see those French people every week anymore. And I won't be, you know, I'm going to have to start, I'm going to have to start teaching myself about the culture and about the language. And that is a little bit, um, that's a little bit sad. Another thing is that I won't, I met the coolest friend um, in that class. Last semester I had a class in one building on this end of campus and then um, another, and French was in, on the other end of campus and getting there on time was impossible for me. And so the very first day I was there I was late and I, so I sat in the the back row my intentions were to sit in the front row so I could really pay attention but since I was so late I just snuck in in the back row and I met the coolest person and we both took French too and we both took French conversation and now so we saw each other every single day and now we won't see each other because we're different majors and we're in different departments and we're never gonna see each other so we have to make sure to make time for that um, for to catch up and get lunch and whatever um, because she's been like my favorite part of this year was meeting meeting her so uh yes mixed feelings good bad sad mad no I'm not mad at anything I just picked up my room and I put uh, I put stuff on my bed and so now I want to lay in my bed so I put it all back on the floor that's cool so I was just um, on my phone and I forgot to tell you that at lunch um, I had corn on the cob, right? And it was really sp kept spraying juice all over the place and I literally had to blow my nose three times while eating because of the intense amount of corn juice that was going up into my nostrils. It was dripping out of my nose and that's not a lie. That is some super juicy corn. However, I was on my phone and I realized how much corn juice got all over my phone screen. It was like really splotty. I use really nice terms. 
that I just make up along the way. Um, it was really, there's just corn juice speckled all over my phone screen, so that's fun. I just wanted to share my intense corn juiceage. We're about ready to go to work. I don't know if I'll really feel much while I'm at work. The exact reason why I went and bought a bigger SD card today was because I my camera just stopped and it ran out of room to record. So I'm really glad that I got that SD card today. Um, so as I was telling you, or as I was getting ready to tell you as my camera ran out of space, was that um, over lunchtime I went ahead and ordered camera wrist straps on Amazon because I lost my wrist strap and it's like a pack of five for really cheap it's for like five bucks for five and then I ordered two spare batteries for this camera because while it's a wonderful camera it's really good for vlogging in my opinion the battery life sucks so bad. Um, honestly, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, my, my camera was like, the battery was flashing on the screen. And so I plugged it and, and it was like flashing at three o'clock. So it didn't even last through the day. The battery started flashing and I was like, okay. I'll plug you in and I plugged it in for like three minutes and then I wanted to film a clip and so I unplugged it and the battery said it was full so the battery cannot freaking make up its mind um, so I don't know if that's just because it's such a small battery or if I got a dud of a battery I really don't know what is going on so I ordered two spare batteries so I can keep those keep charged and ready to go for any time so I'm really excited for those to come in, but they don't come in for a whole week, so. Anyway, camera supplies. Little splurge there. I feel like it's time for me to need those things anyway. Partially smells of applesauce down here on the ground floor. Smell, smells like applesauce. I'm just waiting for the elevator because I'm too lazy right now. I'm tired. It has been such a long week that I just tried to use my car key to unlock my room door. I can't tell if I want to go to bed early tonight and get up at a decent hour or if I want to like stay up late and watch Netflix or if I and and then sleep in I can't tell how which way is the better way to get more sleep sleeping in or going to bed early have you ever had that predicament have you ever even thought of that like would I rather sleep in or go to bed early it's like a hard question to answer I, I don't even know what to tell myself well my friends I am pretty tired and I don't think much really anything else is going to happen today so I'm thinking I'll just end the vlog here and start uploading clips. I have a lot of clips today. <laughs> um, I hope that this was at least a little bit more entertaining than previous vlogs. I tried really hard. And I mean, I even talked to a camera in public places. Like, I haven't really done that very well before. So, I'm kind of impressed with... I'm, ex <laughs> I'm excited to see how it actually turns out and if it's as exciting as I feel like. I mean, it's not exciting. I don't do anything exciting. But I hope that it's as um, interactive, I feel like, just... I did some stuff today and so I hope that that shows. Like this video if you enjoyed the video, if you want more vlogs, comment below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, and I'll, as always, subscribe if you're feeling generous. I'll see you guys next time.